Oh, hey! Shh! Art is an amazing thing. So many feelings can be conveyed from one painting. What is it that makes one work of art almost jump off the canvas and leave a lasting impression while others make you wonder what the definition of art is? I'm not sure if anyone has the answers for that question, but one thing I do know is that Final Cut has made it really easy to paint without the mess. To create our new brush stroke effect, we're going to utilize Motion's new paint feature. And this will be our final result. First things first, click on the Paint Stroke Tool button at the top of the canvas in the toolbar. Select the HUD button to reveal some paint stroke options. Be sure to uncheck the write-on box. For this, we also need a big brush size. Crank up the width to 50. In the canvas, click to the left of the working area. Hold down the left mouse button and then drag it all the way over to the other side. Don't make the line perfectly straight. At first glance, our project's not very exciting. Hit F4 to open up the Shape tab in the Inspector window. Let's select a new shape style. As you can see, Motion has given us a lot of options. Go to Liquid, and then Ink Bleed 01 Heavy. Ah! Our paint stroke has disappeared. Click on the Timing button and scrub down the timeline. Very cool. Notice that I'm not seeing everything, so click on the zoom level and pick Fit in Window. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Change the brush color in the Inspector window. I'm thinking a nice light blue will work great, but hey, if you choose neon yellow or something like that, it's your own business. Drop the brush opacity to 70. Notice how the brush stroke feels more dimensional. Hit the home key and then click on the play button. Whew! Painting has never been so easy. Move the playhead to one second. Let's add some text to make an original lower third. Click on the text tool button. Click on our lovely brush stroke and then type in Stefan. Smitty. In the HUD, make the font size 30 points. Click next to the Y and hit the return key. Then type in resident artist dash homeless person. Highlight our new text and shrink the size down to 20 points. Also, change the bottom text to Myriad Pro. Let's just move our text down so it's in the corner of the title safe boundaries. All right, that will do. Right now, the text just magically appears on the screen. Click on the Library tab in the Utility window. Select Behaviors, Text Sequence, Text Fade, and then Fade In from Left. Fly the mouse up and click on Apply. That does it, except the lower third does not feel balanced. In the Timing pan, select the Paint Stroke layer. Click on the Inspector tab and then the Properties tab. Move the position until the text finds itself in the middle of the brush stroke. Now all we need is a clip that belongs with the lower third. <laughs> there we go. I'll just throw a resident artist in and move him below our lower third. By the way, he does some pretty awesome drawings, so be sure to check him out at your nearest street corner. In the meantime, you can learn other must-have tricks like these on the DVD Money Making Graphics and Effects for Final Cut Studio 2. So be sure to check out creativecowtraining.net. Shh! Don't you know this is a museum?